It's Thursday. Third day here. The giant inflatable Pokemon still spends its days staring, staring at our booth. It's not right. Want from me. We're here the first night eating because that's what the Dice Tower does. We game occasionally, eat always. And we film. <laughs> On our first night at Origins, the Dice Tower crew got ready for the show with a relaxing dinner at the Flatiron Grill. Unless you uh, misread your menu, in which case you spent 10 minutes wondering what a Flatirian Grill burger was. And regardless, now that everyone had arrived and was well fed, it was time to get to work. Joining me right now is Z Garcia. Hey, hey, hey. So I got a couple questions for you, Z. Okay, sure. Okay, so how would this year's Origins compare to you to previous Origins? I think it has been more crowded, and I think the numbers will eventually back me up on that. Mm -hmm. But I, I would say it does feel like a year that there hasn't really been any game that's necessarily risen to the top, you know? Okay. It feels like one of those years that is holding its breath to eventually exhale a bunch of great stuff at Gen Con and at Essen. I, I've sensed that too. Yes. Uh, speaking of Gen Con, how would you say that uh, Origins in general compares to Gen Con? I think Origins is a, a great first convention for people. If you're not sure if you're going to like the crowds, if you're not sure the kind of, of convention goer you will be, as in I want to go there and buy games, I want to go there and play games, then this is a good one because you're going to get a little bit of everything and the crowds aren't insane. But Gen Con really is about buying games, what's hot, what's new, I want it right now, then that's the one to go to. And if you want to just play games, you're much more, you know, someone who wants to get together people and play games, mm -hmm. then our convention is great. BGG, that type of convention is your thing. If you're not sure, check this out. Okay, the last question, how would you say Origins com compares to uh, um, uh, Sandwich? There's a lot more meat here. Um, Speaking of meaty, one of the restaurants within the vicinity of the Columbus Convention Center is a Japanese steakhouse, appropriately named the Japanese Steakhouse, where your meals are prepared right in front of you in a combination of dining and theatrics. However, since I uh, forgot to bring my video camera with me to the restaurant, I won't dwell on it and we'll continue on. Some of the things that you don't see behind the scenes are the people running the computers and doing the live stream cameras and stuff. So I'm here with Matt, who actually is a Dice Tower alumni Europe. Tom stores me in a box in the back of his game room and periodically pulls me out for conventions. There you go. You, you've known Tom for 20 plus years? 22 years. 22 years? I was yeah. the best man in his wedding. Yes, so you're not just some schlub that we met off oh, in the no. hall, no. I'm a schlub he's known for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a distinguished schlub. A distinguished schlub, yes. <laughs> schlub elite. Let's go to the comments and see what people are saying here. We have one here. So Matt, tell us, is Tom larger than life? Yes. He's always been very... He is almost always the extroverted one in the group. Yeah. He is all, always in charge, always in control, but in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, he's always been that way. He loves crowds, he loves people, so. Yeah, it's fascinating. The excellent question following up from your prison. How many air holes were cut in the box for you? Seven. Se seven? Oh. Well, that's a, that is a really good ventilation system then. That's like a nice quality box. Was the box big enough to stand in? No. Oh, okay. It makes sense. I had to fold up to fit inside. Do you just crumple up, or do you actually go through a system to, to fold? It just takes a baseball bat and beats me in there. So. <laughs> That's efficient. Yes. Everything, we're, yeah, I know Tom is about efficiency, so yes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Can you give us a funny story about working with the Dice Tower? Well, I'm never good on these spur of the moment things like that. We've uh, noticed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, with Matt thoroughly flustered, my work on the live stream was done, and it was time for lunch. Do you know what we're having for lunch? Uh, do you know who I am? Food. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing with that camera? Yeah, we're, we're going to go to the North Market. Um, I'm not sure what I've decided yet. 
I had the waffle sandwich yesterday, so I'm thinking maybe Indian food? Maybe pad thai? How was the pad thai? Don't talk! Don't talk to me! <laughs> I don't like being on video! <laughs> Uh, maybe. The pad thai was good, by the way. Yes, I'm gonna have a a diet donut. Ooh. A diet donut? Yeah, they have those. Is it just like a cardboard mock-up of a donut? No, they said it was a diet donut. I believe them. Sure. They'll, <laughs> Why would they'll they say lie? Anything to get you to buy a donut. It was twice as expensive, and it looked identical to the other donut. But they said it was a diet. You donut. know what my mom always told me: never trust a donut vendor. <laughs> <laughs> shadiest people in the world. Here we are at the North Market. Uh, the best use of a chicken in a logo since Kellogg's. So uh, let's go in and see what we can find. Hopefully it's better than cornflakes. Watch out for everything. Well, the North Market was amazing containing stall after stall of different foods from all over the world to choose from. I've never had so many dining options available at a convention, and I was certain to take advantage of it. Indulging in a, a Greek gyro on Wednesday, uh, a gyro plate on Thursday, uh, a lamb kebab platter on Friday, and Greek leftovers on, on, on Saturday. Yeah, there, um, there was this Greek place that I really enjoyed. Well, I'm coming back from something. I'm coming back from lunch at the North Market, and I have to admit, the rumors are true. That was fantastic. Best food at any convention, hands down. So, congratulations, North Market and Origins. That lived up to the hype. Back to the show. Here's a place where a bunch of people aren't. I honestly don't know why I'm here. Okay, I'm lost. Um, I'll come back when I'm found. Okay, I have found Jeff Engelstein. Uh, game this is good because I was lost. So. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering around the parking lot. Uh, I was lost too, that's how we found each other. So, hey, uh, what, uh, how, what have you been up to and how are you enjoying Origins? Uh, it's been really interesting. I, I haven't been to an Origins in like 10 years. So, oh, really? Uh, yeah, so, but uh, because my daughter's in the area now and so we came out to visit her and to come here, so it's been fun. And so it's mainly for me so far, it's just the first day, but I've been playtesting. Lots of new games coming out, so. Oh, neat. It's been playtesting, playtesting, playtesting. So that's, that's always fun, though. It's great to bring new people in to try it, so that's yeah, great. Yeah, indeed. Um, was there anything, oh, I'm still off, but I'm still too far away. <laughs> Is there anything that caught your eye? Uh, I did pick up a copy of Guilds of London, so oh. uh, I got that. I got the second to last copy that uh, was available here at Origins. Everyone has been talking about Guilds of London. Yeah, so but... I figured I had to get that, and I picked up Crazy Carts from Portal, okay. which I'm, I'm a sucker for those kind of simultaneous planning and craziness games. I uh, love yep, those. Yep. So. <laughs> cool. So I'm looking forward to trying both of those. Well, awesome. I hope that you enjoy the rest of Origins, and uh, next time you're wandering in the parking lot, let me know if you find my keys. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I found Mark Zielinski, who hey everyone. is a frequent Dice Tower podcast contributor. Absolutely, I'm working on my tent here now, Chaz. How's that for Re freaky? Get a picture of this right here. See, this is old school, folks. Tom and Sam. Oh my goodness. That's Look at right. That. Tom's <laughs> got to get me updated shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You've been wearing that shirt for a while. <laughs> I have been. Wait till that one's done, then we'll get you a new one. Uh, yeah, that is Tom's philosophy, <laughs> There isn't we it? go. I wanted to ask you the question that has been on my mind from day one. Yes. You have your own theme song. Yes, I do. Here he comes. Here's Mark Zielinski. He's got his own theme song. How did that come about? Uh, I have absolutely nothing to do with that whatsoever. Uh, Eric actually did my first theme song. Okay. You'll hear it on the older episodes. And then all of a sudden, they got a new voiceover guy. Uh -huh. And he decided to do a new <laughs> He just decided to. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I had a new theme song. It was awesome. So they, they, just, they just did it. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I never heard heard it. I heard it for the first time on the show. I'm at the booth here with Mike 
from Board Game Makeover on Board Game Breakfast. Yep. You have been working the booth almost nonstop the entire convention. Absolutely. So is uh, outside of Origins, do you also do a lot of booth work? I've never done booth work before. Really? So I'm having a great time talking to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people are recognizing um, the little two minute video that I do where I make over things. And it's really great talking to them. And they have questions for me, mostly about sanity things and you know. The stuff that you put together go, just it, it, it impresses me and it inspires me. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Because if it didn't do that to at least one person, then I'd probably turn to Legos or something else. Or more booth work. Yes, yes, yes more yes. booth work. Absolutely. Always booth work, always an option. And I am having a blast. This awesome. is such an awesome convention. If you didn't make it here, try to come here at least one time in your lifetime. This is the best one for sane people. Go to Gen Con and that'll just yeah, that's change true. you. That, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, I'll let you get back to work, Mike. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm Graham. Graham. And Graham, uh, like Mike, has also been working the Dice Tower booth um, almost uh, non-stop the entire convention so far. Pretty much, yes. So what's been your, whoops, what's your two-part question? What's been your favorite part of Origins, and what has been your favorite part of working the booth? Favorite part of Origins is just the events. Oh, yeah? I, love, I love going to the events and learning new skills. What, what events have you gone to? I went to the uh, train building one. Oh, really? So I built a nice little thing out of uh, styrofoam. Oh, cool. So I learned how to do that. I'm getting into miniatures games, so it's fantastic here because they have everything laid out. Before. Fantastic way to test out a new miniatures game. Exactly. Before opening my wallet and dumping it out. Exactly. You get to try it. I'm going to let Graham get back to the booth work. Uh, I'm going to go try and find that guy that keeps popping up in the back of our shows. He looks lost. You're trying to make videos and you're interrupting my lunch. I'm sorry. You lied to me. You said at Origins there would be no Gen Con line. I was totally wrong. I don't know what's happened this year. There has been a line for the registration all morning since 7 from what I've heard. Yeah. An incredibly long line. Now granted I heard the system did crash earlier, but it's back up and it's not moving at all. Or it doesn't seem to be. Origins is getting big. Origins is getting big. It does still doesn't feel it. We'll see when everybody gets in the rooms tomorrow how, how proud it feels. It is. Yeah, but right now, we don't want it to be like Gen Con. No, no. <laughs> well, I have, I have no Origins experience to compare it to yet. Oh, but. okay. Because I've been telling you, I've been selling it. Yeah, as, you've been selling it to oh, me. Oh, it's a laid back con. You lied. You lied to me. <laughs> and so. The filthy liar and I made our way to local Columbus landmark, Melts, for lunch. Melts, the only restaurant where you can get a grilled cheese macaroni and cheese sandwich. Because, deep down, you hate your arteries. Well, that's it for this time. Join me next time when I'll start pointing my vlog at some of the games and events that were done at Origins. See you then. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. And, and you have your own podcast that you're on, right? Yes, I do. And so well, there's a bird in here, uh, over there by the. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Get distracted <laughs> for, by birds. <laughs> for, forget about your podcast. There's a bird in here we need to look at.